being close to the president, seeing him, does not then give you the license to be corrupted and to be dead. We have seen the president many times. We see him in his office. We see him at the farm. But you've never seen us posting uh, pictures. What for? When we go and see him, it's about national issues. Besides me being related to the president, I must make this very clear. I've never written on him. I have no business from him that I've ever got. I've never asked him for anything. Because I'm my own person. Politically, I'm not there because of him. So he's my uh, uncle Dietmar's in class. When he was powerful. That's why I did my politics in Marsh West, not in Manika and in Midlands. They know I'm a straightforward person. They know I tell them the, the truth. That's the reason why I went to Sadak in Botswana, to block Troika from coming here to tell the truth that Zimbabweans wanted a change and there was no point re reinforcing uh, an army to come here. We believed in the, in, the, in the president. That's why we went that far. So some of us are very clear in terms of our, our allegiance. But we are worried about these people. You know that uh, uh, when uh, uh, we were going through what we were going through, the former President Mugabe was very much supported by the Saturday and uh, President Zuma, as you know. And they had a meeting in Botswana where they were discussing Zimbabwe, what do we do now? It was a meeting and it was a press, I stormed it. I was holding the Zimbabwe Constitution. And I said, uh, Section 212, 213, and 214 of the Constitution talk about the deployment of the, of the, of the, of the, of the army where there is national security issues and where there is lack of uh, law and order. And uh, I stormed in and it was being chaired and everybody listened to me. And a couple of ministers for the first came to me and said, where did you come from? You know? And then from there I found my way out of there. This was for this country. I believe there was no point for them to do anything extra. We were working on our issues. It was a constitutional, because they were saying the army had taken over. The army had not taken over at all. But in terms of Constitution 212 or 214, they can be deployed to the streets for law and order. This is what really makes me agitated by the thing legislators that you vote for. Instead of getting that amended in the Constitution, they don't. So when you see the army on the streets, it is a constitutional issue. 